will come all the dhyana meditation the meditation from right from our childhood we have been learning many things in our life at we are not an expert in any area expert is the one who is genius in his field or her field that person is a genius we have to become a genius but from right from our childhood we have been learning many things we went to many schools and many universities we learned many things and still we haven't mastered anything and you have to master the thing in your life so that you become a genius in your life the uh, in uh, uh, everyone is unique everyone is special everyone uh, has unique unique skills unique talent and everyone has to become his own type or her own type copycat is the not the nature it's not our human nature no two fingerprints are the same and no two leaves in the plant are the same no two flowers in the plant are the same everything is different we should not become like somebody we should become like ourselves and why we are not uh, getting mastery on that one because we we are um, learning so many things we want to become successful in our life every parent acts parents uh, all parents aspires their children to be become very successful we also want to become a millionaire multimillionaire and successful in our life we want to go out but before you go out you should go in and for example um, uh, in uh, our the water when it comes through the water tap you collect the water in a cup it is said do not drink straight from the tap you have to keep the water for few hours let the water settle in the water comes out through the tap is an unstructured water it is not structured we want water to become structured let it settle down we can store it in a copper vessel so that water becomes structured settled in so the structured water when you drink it goes in as an ambrosia as a healer if you start drinking from the tap straight unstructured it disturbs the health in the body so is we learn so many things we are unstructured there is no structure in us what meditation says you have to settle down like water you are select, collecting in a copper vessel it is settling down then you are drinking so is you have to settle down in your life so that there is a structure in your personality when the structure is there you like water becomes of use for your body when you settle in within yourself when there is a structure in the body structure in your personality then you can add value to others you can become a success in your life in the like uh, everyone is like a seed like a seed has the whole tree in that seed like a mango seed has the whole mango tree in that seed so is every one of us has that potential to become something unique and something special like a seed mango seed has a potential to become the big tree we also have a potential to become successful in our life this mango seed and i should realize when i am contemplating the seed in me is a mango seed i should not compare myself to become a jackfruit seed and i should not compare myself to become a neem seed or a bitter gourd seed 
I should realize what is the nature of my seed. When I start going in, I should understand my personality. What are my skills? What are our, my talents? What are my tastes? What I want in my life, I should understand first. If I do not understand my understand myself, if I want to become something unique, something outside, it is not possible. First, you understand yourself. What are my talents? What are my skills? Because I am not like that person. I am not like that person. I am unique. I am not like others. Parents say you should become like that person. No, you are not becoming like that person. You become yourself. Understand your nature. Understand what you want. Everyone is unique. Everyone has a unique skill. Go deep within. When I start going deep within, when I get grounded, when I get settled within, then I understand what are my requirements, what I need in my life. My, when my roots are very strong, when my roots are very strong, when I connected myself with my connected with myself, roots are strong, favorable conditions come in your life so that the seed in you sprouts out. And you that when the, you are connected within, there is uh, plenty of opportunities come in our life. This world is called as a Kalpa Vriksha. It's not a limited opportunity. However bad is the market, if you connect to yourself, there is an opportunity for you to grow, opportunity for you to shine, opportunity to become brilliant. Whatever is the condition, the requirement you have to connect to yourself. Now, in the coronavirus time, many people across the world are losing their jobs, many businesses are ba badly hurting and we are so worried, we are tensed, what will happen, what will happen. This meditation, meditation technique, it says not to get worried, understand, go within, go within, go deep, plant your seed deep into yourself, make your roots strong. When the roots are strong, when you realized your own self, when you realized your own nature, there will be a favorable condition and despite all odds, you will come out and shine out in your life. In, the, in the Ramayana, Ramayana, and uh, all the monkeys, they nominated uh, Hanuman. Jambavan said, Hanuman, you don't know that I know your potential. I you can fly over the ocean, you can go to uh, Lanka. And Hanuman agreed that he wanted others. He did not want to put up his hand first. Others, Jambavan, the senior most, after uh, it's a troop, Sugriva's army, he asked Hanuman to cross over 100 yojanas. And Hanuman, at the, at the tip of the, uh, the Indian uh, coast, before he jumped across, what he did, he, he did not j blindly jump across. He stood and gathered all his thoughts together, all his senses together and like a meditation, he went deep within, deep within and that complete, the structure, it's a structured personality, he connected to within and saluted, surrendered to his Lord, Lord Sri Rama before venturing out and and he gathered all his senses, all his energy and he told himself, yes, I will do this one. And when he set out and many hurdles came on its path, he was not daunted. And all his mission to Lanka was like a game, like a genius, not, even, not at all afraid of all the hurdles in the path. The 
for us also. Many challenges come in our path. Many difficult times come in our path. What helps us is meditation. Go within. Unstructured, convert your unstructured personality into structured personality. Go within. Do not lose confidence. Do not lose confidence. Realize that you are not like somebody else. You are yourself. You become yourself. Then the, when you connected yourself, the immense, tremendous energy comes within. And another requirement therefore the seeker required is surrender to the Lord. It's a full conviction that whatever is happening now in the world, in the coronavirus situation, whatever is happening, it is going as per the plan of the Supreme Lord. Nothing is happening without his knowledge. This world is belonging to him. I am just a transit person. I am transiting to, through this transit launch. It is his world. Everything is happening according to his plan. And I am just in a transit launch. And why I should be scared? It is his world. He is the... According to everything is happening. Loka Adyaksha, Sura Adyaksha, Dharma Adyaksha. And you know, Vishnu, Vishnu Sahasrama says, He is the manager. Adyaksha, he is the leader. He knows each and everything. When everything is happening according to his plan, why I should get worried? It is happening according to his plan. May his will happen. Whatever is that one, may it happen. May I, may I become an instrument in his hands. Whatever glorious things are happening, may great things get done through me. May I also become an instrument in his hands. Complete surrender to him and go within. Go within. Every day, go within. And uh, in the, um, yesterday, uh, my company, they interviewed me that uh, they wanted to uh, talk about uh, how meditation helps to handle the stress. And uh, one of the questions was asked in the, um, this uh, difficult time, people tend to overeat. They eat a lot of junk food. And, uh, and uh, they have difficulty in uh, their overeating, eating junk food, difficulty in sleeping. And what is the means? What I told them that uh, in the interview, that junk food, the name itself says junk. And uh, the food, what we eat, the gross part of the food comes out as a stool. Mid part of the food goes into our flesh and um, uh, muscles. And the fine part of the food is, uh, goes, goes to our brain. When you are eating the junk food, why make your brain junk? Don't make your brain junk and avoid junk food. And brain is a precious thing. Whether we are happy in our life or sad in our life, we have to make sure that our brain is kept healthy. It is said, in the always keep your head cool and feet warm. Not other way, keep feet very cold, hot head. It is not hot head, cool head. And it's a hot feet. That meditation helps you to do that one. The best practice when you get up. When you get up early morning. Early morning is a very conducive time for sadhana. Conducive time when the nature is still at the sattvic nature. Birds are still singing in joy. Early morning, Brahmi Murta, it's one and a half hours before the sunrise. Very conducive for meditation. Nature is in the peak of its stillness. At that time, sit for meditation. Tune yourself to the nature. Mind becomes, it's very calm time. Sit, get up before your family gets up. Before there's something in the kitchen, paper man comes, your water, water person comes and your, some delivery person comes and not to get 
disturbed early morning it's early morning and sit for meditation in the meditation sitting always when you are sitting your back should be straight not sitting like this when you sit like this and like this you will go into sleep always back neck and head in one line and chin slightly up and this is the posture and and uh, shri krishna in bhagavad gita says atma samstam manakritva na kinchidapi chintayet in the in the meditation chapter lord shri krishna says atma samstam atma atma means this body atma means this soul atma means this the it's a mind atma samstam establish yourself in your own body not to think of what i want to become tomorrow you go within go within go within as i start going within and my world is a uh, inner world is fathomless as i close my eyes as i go within slowly my inner world opens up my inner world opens up slowly like a river stream when it is starting flowing the slowly it starts many paths many roots starts opening up the many paths opens up and it uh, go within go within atma samstam mana kritva and when you are going within and you are as i mentioned in the beginning i am the mango seed i don't want to become a jackfruit seed or a neem seed or bitter gourd seed or other uh, like other things what is this one it's a go within go within you are satisfied within satisfied within go within not to worry you are not worried about what will happen tomorrow and at this moment present moment to become come to the present moment be aware of your breathing when you start going within connecting within connecting within your roots become very strong very strong very when the roots are becoming very strong and the, the roots the inner pressure the pressure within the you are nourishing the roots the shoot will come out and irrespect and the when your roots are very connected you will be the it's a beauty of the nature the outside nature will become very conducive for this shoot to grow whatever is the situation when your roots are very strong you will be in a situation it is appropriate for this plant to becomes pro- come out shoot to come out and become a big tree and if you read the biography of any great achievers this is the same experience they say not to be just jump into go into i want to become prosperous not that one first go within go within and connect yourself within deep within and complete surrender and deep within and when the roots are very strong and the in no time like the uh, early morning the sky he becomes orangish in color when the when i see the orange sky then i know sunrise is not far away when i connect myself deep within i know the time is not far away for me to flourish in my life go within and also the requirement for a meditator it's a, always be cheerful and one of the qualities of a meditator and uh, it's utsaha in life should be bubbling with energy and uh, mukta sango aham vadi driti utsaha samanvita life should be that person should be always bubbling with energy that the meditator yoga practitioner the person who is ambitious to become something unique something special in that in the life should be bubbling with energy should be ambitious full of energy 
not whatever task you give. Sorry, I am busy. Sorry, I am busy. No sorry. And always joyful and bubbling with energy. That is another requirement for a meditator to have. We should have that one. Bubbling with energy. Yes, I will accomplish great things in my life. May I become an instrument in Lord's hands. For that, bubbling with energy. And meditator. Another quality required is the positive thinking. And wish well. And think well of all the others. And if somebody is uh, suffering, not to say, let them suffer. Let them go through their bad karma. Not to say that one. Wish well of others. And Supreme Lord is wishing well of everyone. If you want to become an instrument in His hands, you also should be wishing good of others. Not to think bad. Not to think negative. Think positive. Full of positive energy. Go within. Full of humility. Surrender. And by chance you become very special. And very successful not to become arrogant in your life. And it's everything is happening because of him. Your success may vanish any time. And if you are failure not to brood, the good time will come. And not to be arrogant of your success and be full of energy. We have to have these qualities for a meditator. Now we will do the meditation practice. The practice for next 10-15 minutes, uh, for um, 45 mi 30 minutes, 35 minutes, try not to move, try to sit straight. And those who are sitting on the chair, you can come on the floor and uh, try to bend your knees all the time, not to sit all the time on the couch and uh, bend your knees back straight and when you are sitting on the chair always knees are like this and uh, when you are sitting you are pushing the knees down when you are pushing the knees down now what will happen if your knees are up like this your uh, um, the lower aperture is open now when you are pushing the knees down your lower aperture closes Mula, Mula Bandha happens and downward energy starts going upward. Try to bring your knees always down, down. And we will start off with breathing, thumb and index finger together. Long inhale, eyes gently closed. Long inhale. Feel the air going through your nostrils. Feel the sensation in both nostrils. Feel your abdomen expanding. Chest expanding. Exhale. Feel the air going out through your nostrils. Feel your chest contracting. Stomach contracting. Inhale. Feel the air going through your nostrils. Stomach expands. Chest expands. As you are exhaling, Feel the air coming out through your nostrils. Chest goes in, stomach in. Again, inhale. Feel the air going through your nostrils. Stomach expands, chest expands. As you are exhaling, feel the air coming out through your nostrils, chest contracts, stomach contracts. 
with your right thumb close your right nostril complete exhale through your left nostril inhale through left close your left nostril complete exhale through right inhale through right fill up your lungs fill up your lungs close your right nostril exhale through left inhale through left close your left nostril exhale through right nostril inhale through right exhale through left. we will do brahmari with your four fingers close your eyes with your middle fingers partially close your nostrils small fingers and ring fingers across your lips with your thumbs close your ears do brahmari lips together humming sound mm. again bring your hands down thumb and index fingers together into chin mudra back neck and head in one line chin slightly up 
eyes gently closed smile on your lips your breathing has become very slow and smooth as you are inhaling your abdomen is expanding gently expanding as you are exhaling your stomach is going in your mind has become calm and serene your breathing has become slow and smooth your posture has become firm and relaxed now bring your attention to the heart center in narayana upanishad it talks about the supreme lord samudre anta vishva shambhuvam hrudaya samudra he resides in everyone's heart the fathomless heart he resides in everyone's heart anta samudra inside ocean the hrudaya samudra inside the heart everyone's heart he resides why he is residing in everyone's heart vishwa shambhuvam he wants to get great things done through us he is eager to make us great but we have also have a desire to become great if i do not have a desire i cannot but the supreme indweller he wants vishwa shambhuvam he wants to bring out great things to the world through us for that we should have a desire a desire to bring out good for that i should acquire noble qualities divine qualities we have to be sincere in our practice we have to be devoted we should be wishing well of everyone as i start going within as i start going deep within and strengthening my roots my personality starts expanding my aura starts expanding i start getting connected with others i start experiencing the pain of others i can feel the suffering of others before that my i means only this physical frame as i start going within starts start strengthening my roots my personality expands and every living being every one is a co traveler along with me i start empathizing with others that i start seeing the same divine being in all living beings my personality starts expanding in bhagavad gita shri krishna says one of the divine qualities 
Yogi must have Suhran Mitra. He or she is friendly to everyone, wants to reach out to everyone, should feel the pain and suffering of others, should reach out everyone wherever possible. Think of the Supreme Indweller. Whatever is your chosen deity, chosen ideal, think of him. All perfect, complete, without any defect. The Supreme Lord is not limited to only one name and only one form. He has all the names, all the forms. He is complete, perfect in all regard. Always think good, think perfect, think complete. So that our personality also start moving towards perfection. On the other token, if I am always critical, always criticizing others, always thinking negative, my personality becomes weak. My roots, inside roots become very weak. And I am very susceptible to depression, anxiety and stress to overcome that one. Every day, think good, think noble, think auspicious, think perfect. Always contemplate on the Supreme Lord. He is perfect in all regard. Whenever you go through the tough time, you say to yourself, this face also, my indweller knows this one. He will give me enough strength to overcome this difficult situation. Talk to him every day. Go within. Go within. When you start talking to him within, you are Talking, loose talks outside becomes less. You won't be a loose talker. You won't, to, uh, you won't be chatting all the time, gossiping all time. Because you started another communication channel. You are talking to the Lord within. When He is listening to you, and you start getting the messages from him also. What is the need of unnecessarily talking to other people and always criticizing what is the need? Meditation helps us to enrich our personality. Meditation is for personality development. Meditator becomes a great leader. If you want to become a great leader, great inspirer, you need these qualities. Be aware of your breathing. As you are inhaling, abdomen expands, chest expands. As you are exhaling, chest goes in, stomach goes in. Think of what is an ideal for you, what is perfect in your heart center. And Lord Shri Krishna says another quality, Vigata Bihi, the meditator 
he is free from fear and anxiety what will happen what will happen because the meditator has full trust in the supreme lord he will look after why i should be worried offload the meditator offloads all the problems at the feet of the lord he will look after since he pervades everywhere since he is there in everyone's heart since he is a closest friend eternal friend he is the light of our lights since he illumines the most brilliant things even like sun moon stars lightning fire everything is illumined by him he is called as vasudeva Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya means my salutations, my obeisance to my closest friend, my eternal companion. Go within, go within. When the seeker starts going deep within and in the meditative term, it is called as divine romance. That is, person can see can experience that supreme lord within we'll do 108 times om namo bhagavate vasudevaya think of your chosen ideal in your heart center whenever mind wanders away bring your attention back on to your chosen ideal visualize the smile on your chosen ideal supreme lord with a smile on his face big eyes big eyes represents he is drawing all our worries all our problems through his eyes smile indicates not to worry not to worry he is reassuring us repeat after me back straight neck straight chin up smile on your lips om namo bhagavate vasudevaya 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 om namo bhagavate Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Namo Bhagavate 
वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते 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 वासुदेवाय ओम नमो 
ಓಂ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ 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 ಭಗವತೆ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ 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 ಭಗವತೆ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ 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 ಭಗವತೆ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ 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 ಭಗವತೆ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ 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 ಭಗವತೆ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ 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 ಭಗವತೆ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ 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 ಭಗವತೆ 
भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो 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 भगवते नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम 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 नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Your personality becomes physical frame has become firm and relaxed your breathing is way has become very slow at certain point there is a pause in breathing kumbhaka you are neither inhaling nor exhaling your mind has settled in you have gone within all your cell structures cells has become structured they have aligned there is a structured personality has happened now within there is an exuberance of energy from within you are experiencing some inexplicable joy within you are happy within you are contented within you are in bliss within when i say om inhale when i say om namo bhagavate vasudevaya exhale inhale om exhale 
ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಇನ್ಹೇಲ್ ಓಂ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಇನ್ಹೇಲ್ ಓಂ ಇನ್ಹೇಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಇನ್ಹೇಲ್ ಓಂ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವ chant om three times together oh oh rub your palms together and mentally pass on your positive energy in the easterly direction mentally pass your energy to the southerly direction pass your energy to the westerly direction pass your energy to the northerly direction pass your energy above your head on the sky all the living beings on the above moving about in the sky may they be happy pass your energy to the beneath the surface beneath the under the living beings living inside the earth may all them be happy may there be happiness peace everywhere pass the energy on to yourself may with this one may i be healthy and happy and contented within may the lord bless me to achieve great things in the life pass the energy on to your knees back and bow down thank you